It's about fucking time we performed like we did. I mean, we tailored off in the second half, but we scored four first half, first, first half, first half goals. Like, what? That's the first time in 10 years, I think. Last time was against Fulham that we scored four in the first half. It was just subliminal. Wayne Rooney drop, dropped, and look what happened. Look at the creativity. Wayne Rooney not taking corners. What do we do? We score three from corners. Daily Blind, absolutely fantastic today. And Herrera, the same. Uh, Paul Pogba, terrific as well. Rashford was decent. Um, there was just so much positivity in this team. And yeah, the first goal comes from a corner. Blind heads it in. Uh, heads it in, sorry. Crosses it in. Smalling's there. 1-0. It's like the first goal we've scored from a corner in months. Like... Seriously, and it's because Wayne Rooney isn't taking them anymore. And uh, shortly after that, we make it 2-0. It's brilliant play all round. I think Pogba passes it to uh, Jesse Lingard. Lingard finds Mata in space, and it's a lovely finish with his left foot. It's funny because the undroppable player, Wayne Rooney, was dropped for the player that had no United future, uh, Juan Mata. Like, everyone thought he was gone. But um, no, he, he was terrific as well. I didn't even mention him. He was one of our better players. I think he got a goal and an assist or two assists. But yeah, terrific. Third goal, it was a clever set piece. Leicester just weren't at the races. We pass it short from a corner. Daily blind to Juan Mata. Plays it along the box. And Marcus Rashford's there for a tap-in. 3-0. Unbelievable. And then just before half-time, another corner from Daily Blind. Paul Pogba drifts into space and heads it in for his first Manchester United goal on his comeback. And yeah... That was it, basically. Like, in the second half, there wasn't too much. Obviously, there was a fantastic goal from Damari Gray. Um, nothing to hear could have done about that. But by that, Leicester didn't really have too much threat. Vardy and Mores were subbed off at half-time. And, uh, yeah, they, they just didn't create too much. They had a few long shots. And, uh, yeah, we just tailored off. By the end of it, we'd subbed on Carrick, Rooney and uh, Young. But, seriously, this is why... Us Manchester United fans have been crying out for Wayne Rooney to be dropped, particularly in the Premier League. We didn't have Martial or Mkhitaryan in this team, but we still scored four goals. We created more, and I know three of them were from set pieces, but that's why we've bought tall players to actually have threat in the box, something we haven't had in ages. But the second goal underlined the creativity in our team. It was fantastic play, and uh, we could and probably should have had more. I think in the second half, the best chance we had was... Um, Saved well by Zila. It was, uh, I think, Valencia. No, it was Lingard who ran past. Uh, I think he, he Ronaldo chopped um, who, whoever the Leicester defender was. And uh, passes it in to Ibrahimovic just outside the box. It's trickling into the corner, but it's a great save from Zila. And, uh, yeah, it was just a great performance. Paul Pogba was the man of the match for Sky. He produced some insane passes forward. Uh, there was one chance in the first half. Pogba chips it in to Ibrahimovic. He chests it down. You're thinking, bang, what a goal. Just over the bar from Ibra. Um, and there was a few other chances where Pogba had just, you know, managed to find Ibra. Ibra made some great runs. He didn't score today, but he was still fantastic. And uh, that partnership between Pogba and Ibra seemed to be on the same wavelength. wavelength. Rashford, was uh, good again, and uh, Jesse Lingard had a solid game, and he was probably the surprise inclusion. We did kind of go with a 4-3-3, Lingard and uh, Pogba in, in front of Herrera, and Herrera really dictated the play. Um, quite surprising Carrick didn't start, but maybe we're trying, you know, we're trying to look for the uh, to the future. Carrick is fantastic, but we need to try and get a midfield where Carrick isn't needed. And uh, yeah, this midfield, although Jesse Lingard will probably end up go out, going out of the team for Mkhitaryan, it worked. It really did. Leicester aren't an easy team. I know they've already lost three now this uh, season, but they are a fantastic team. They've got brilliant threats and they're the Premier League champions. So this was a hard game and it starts a hard run of fixtures. Stoke is our next game and they've been very poor, bottom of the league. But you never know with Stoke, sometimes they can turn up. Then we've got, I think it's, it's Liverpool... Fenerbahce, Chelsea, then Man City in the Cup, all in the space of 10 days. So we need to keep this run going, but this will give us newfound confidence and belief. Um, and yeah, hopefully we can just keep it going. It was so refreshing to see a performance that I thoroughly enjoyed from United. So uh, yeah, I'm happy as I'm sure United fans are. So hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and yeah, peace.